The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, we've got, I believe, Steve from Austin, Texas on the line today. Steve, happy holidays to you, my friend. What can I do? Hey, for happy you? Thanksgiving, Larry. How, how are you doing today? Just living a dream, baby, on the green side of the grass, hoping these holidays will get over. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to you know, that. Amen to that. I, uh, hey, I, I wanted to ask you what your ahead. thoughts are, and you know that we're, we're at near the, of course, the end of the year, and uh, yes. there should be some tax loss selling, I would think, coming in. Maybe it's in the next couple of weeks or something like that. But with the energy stocks uh, being uh, hit like they are, do you think you see some more in that, uh, or what, what are your thoughts on crude oil and natural gas at this point? Okay, let's take, I posted the chart here, the hourly chart on crude oil. It gives us the last 10, 12 days, which is really what we want to be looking at. We already okay. know, I'm going to switch over to the daily here because this is what we talked about in the newsletter. There was our 78% level right here that we made last Friday. Okay, now here we are coming into this Friday. And you notice how we made the 78% level right here, Steve? If you're sure. checking against the hourly chart today, we went within three pips of the exact 78% of the low of the, the 16th of uh, November. So that tells that this is strong support in here. And the fact that we've come out of here so so strongly means we could possibly be looking at an ABCD to the upside, but that's still quite a long way to go. So we know that we're in a minor uptrend from this low, which was the 78% on the long-term daily. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're having our first really strong. This is this is no this is a big deal. We've rallied two dollars a barrel in a matter of just three and a half hours today. That that's a that's telling us it's pretty big. Now the second one you wanted to ask about was natural gas, which I haven't looked at today. I've been too busy uh, with other things, but we'll get it up here as quickly as we possibly can, and. We'll start out with a 15 minute and see where we are. We've had a little bit of action here. So this is the, oh, this has been in a deep downtrend. So let's look at the daily because this is about ready to probably, oh, shut the front door, Steve. You're right at the 61% <laughs> retracement today at 82. Oh, oh, no, this is drawn wrong. Sorry. Give the old cowboy a break here on the, there's our low right here. There's our high. We've actually, uh, we're setting uh just almost exactly at the 61 percent retracement here at 287 the low today uh not much lower 282 this is probably a really good bottom right here natural gas do, do you have a minute because I, I think if we look at this together the person that was i was talking to earlier today you know i was talking about time frames well this is a daily what i will do now is go down to an hourly and now i can see blow this up a little bit and you can see where I stand here looking at all of these things over there. We've had a big move down. We've had our first little tiny bit of a move up. Uh, from, There's uh, a gap 80. there, though, Larry, on the natural gas. Do you see it over there oh, in oh, uh, September or October? Yeah. Is that, that a, a valid switch over, gap switch, that needs switch. to get filled, do you think? I think so, but it's probably the switch over of the contracts because I know that that's what usually okay. happens on that case. But looking at okay. this right now, we're in a really strong downtrend. The 61% retracement is right where we're trading now, 287. So we've gone below it and we snapped above it, which is what you'd like to see. What you want to focus on is today's high, which was 292. You want to go back and see if there was any thing that would tell you you would have something similar to that. You see how, how you had this rally right here? This rallied exactly 12 points. This has rallied 12 points. So that means that okay. this high right here should be pretty close to a 382 coming in to this high that we had just about today. And you can see here it misses it by – well, it only misses it by a dollar. So what I would assume here, if we – well, this is a really easy one, Steve. If we get above here, it's going to go up. And the reason why is everybody that sold that puppy here is going to have a loss, and that's going to start – that's going to have uh, 
short covering coming in. So watch this 293 level, because if we can get above that, above this 382, we've got a pretty good chance for a rally. How much of a rally? We could easily get it up here uh, $12, $15 from that level. But that's what uh, that's what looks like with uh, the natural gas here today. Now, I'm looking at a 60-minute. Someone that wants to day trade this on a smaller time frame could go to 8-minute. And now you're seeing it with a little bit bigger clarity here. You had a uh, an A, B, C, D here to the downside. Then you had to move up. And what this move has just – oh, this is acting quite nicely. Actually, your pulled back comes uh, – Right between the 50% and 618. So this is this is where we where the play the game is played up here at 293, because that's gonna okay. that's gonna mean all those people that sold it over the last two days are gonna have a loss and they don't stand around for very long on that. So that's what I'd be watching here, especially on a, a weekend like we're gonna have. Oh, right? Are you kidding me? That's like three months in our business. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> All right. Well, Larry, thank you so much, and God bless you, and, and have a wonderful thank Thanksgiving. When I saw your name pop up, I was going to run back to the other part of the house to get my uh, my uh, cowboy hat, but I was just – I've been up all night trading. I One of those nights where I did a little too much, and uh, but had a lot of fun doing it. I finally fell asleep right before the market opened. <laughs> well, Larry, was you know, on your program, your voice yeah. comes out, and your uh, enthusiasm is so – uh, transparent there, and, and how much you love this, uh, the the trading that you do, and it, yeah. it's it's a god blessing to you that you're able to do it and, and be on here, and, and for all of us too. So, yeah. thank you for doing Every, it, Steve. Thank you so much. Every time someone tells me that, I remember the comments of when I got divorced. We were with the priest and the. Uh, uh, my wife's rabbi, no, she wasn't Jewish. Anyway, we had our accountant, the priest, and uh, who was accountant, the priest, and an attorney. And uh, the attorney said to the accountant, he said, my wife said to me, ex-wife, she said, uh, I, I really feel sorry for you because you're just going to be sitting in front of those charts to your very old man and doing this. And my attorney said to the accountant, he says, God, I wish I had a job like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Larry, that's it's a blessing. It's a blessing to all yeah. of us here that uh, get to listen to your program. You have uh, some great insights, and you have some wonderful guests on. Uh, by yeah. the way, who's going to be on next week? Uh, do you have oh, that planned out yet? I'd like to tell you about our mystery guest. It's going to be on the 29th, but I would tell you it's going to be Joe DiNapoli. But, oh, no, I let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> Joe will be on on the 29th. And I believe okay. I'm going to have uh, – who is – I think Bart Leone's coming on on the 28th, I believe. I'm trying to find somebody for the 27th. I'll, I'll have plenty of energy by the 27th because uh, I'll be rested up over the weekend, so we'll be fine. But for, for sure, Joe DiNapoli on the 29th. That'll be the yeah, whole show. That's wonderful. Today. Thank you so much, Larry, for all that you do. Love you. Thank you, Steve. Bye. I certainly appreciate it. Come out and see me if you get a chance. Okay. Okay, I think we got a break coming up here. Let's just double check how much we got. Oh, we got about 40 seconds. Let's get ready for the next segment here. You can see the crude oil is still moving higher uh, in the in the process here. So that's a real interesting one uh, to pay attention to. But the fact that this missed it by a little bit really is exciting. All right, let's move on here, and we'll take a break here. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, okay, folks, I want to go over the trades we were doing this week, especially the last couple of days. Remember, this is only Wednesday. So here's where we were yesterday. Remember, we pointed out this was the 382 on the high from way back here in January of last year, okay, this year. That was a 382. Your 61% retracement was off of this high right here. That came in at 383. So all we were doing yesterday, remember, I was looking at an eight-minute chart. We'll get it up here and take a look at it. I'm going to move over here a little bit because there's where we were yesterday. See that? There was yesterday at 82. I said, sell that thing there, and I did. Unfortunately, I covered it there. <laughs> no no complaints, but uh, I did cover it there. But the reason why is we made that ABCD pattern off of that. And then here again is in the middle of the night. This is 3 o'clock in the morning, New York time. And there's your ABCD, another one right there. Let's just take a look at it. You'll see that it was probably, again, right at the old 382. There it is. And then we come down, and we made our low here. There's your 1.618, which means that's that whole move to the downside, folks. That's exactly what that means. Now we're having the rally back. So if you believe in these numbers, which we do, we want to see if this next one's going to be a 382 also. So you go from your high down to your low. You put it in, and it's going to be coming in here really close here. Uh, we're at 76, so just right around 77. You want to put the little beeper on here because it might get right back into here. But that's a pretty big move uh, in the in the, uh, the the copper. So I, I didn't put that in the list here because that's one that we were uh, don't trade too often, but I do once in a while. The other one we were looking at, of course, here was the uh, the wheat. This is the March wheat. We started with the daily. I'm going to slow down here a little bit here. There's our slowing down here. And there was our buy right there. You can see the A, B, C, D, and the market came down here to our buy price, which was 74. We rallied up. We got to 91 today. Now, I took the position off with a $500 profit. You see how it's in the lower end of the range today? That doesn't make me very happy, and it's a weekend coming up. And so all I did was I moved my stop. This is where we were uh, last night. Okay, so I put my stop right there. I just got stopped out of it because I didn't want – it hasn't even made the 382 retracement. Remember, we're looking at $0.17 cents possibly higher. So I'll look at this 
Sunday night. Uh, not going to be doing anything Friday. That's a, that's a, I won't, uh, <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, we'll be looking at this here. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's. A, Thank you for asking someone what I was going to be doing for Thanksgiving. Anyway, so I'm, I'm out of this with a $500 profit. I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. And I know there's more. There's probably more to be had just looking at this daily. You said we should get up here to 01. So as soon as I get a little bit of a pullback here, most probably at the 382, I'll probably re-enter it on um, – on Sunday night or Monday, because Sunday night the world has forgotten about Thanksgiving and we'll be doing some other things. Now, another really nice one that we had here was this British pound. If you remember here, this is the number we were looking at in the British pound. We, we put this on uh, two days ago. Uh, let's try it again, Larry. Yesterday, that was not quite two days ago. There was our number right here. You see that number? And it hit it exactly, folks, right there. One. 2572 and that was the high was 12489 it went 10 ticks above it and we're quite a bit uh 12589 we're over 100 points uh, to the downside today just looking at it on a smaller time frame you see you had a pretty big break and guess where we are folks from your high that you made right back here to the low right back there look where you are right now can't make this up. Yes, Johnny, I see your placard over there. So that's the other one that we were looking at. And then the big daddy rabbit over here, the one we like so much. And we'll get it over here. And we'll talk a little bit about the gold in just a moment here. But uh, these are the treasury bonds. Hold on right here. Get up here to this level right here. We'll put this uh, four hour up because that's what we were looking for. We said that had a really good chance if we could get above the 16 level, which we could not. The high was 16, and that was the place to take a look at it. Looking at it on a shorter time frame, and that's what we did. We went down to an eight-minute. There was the there was the number. We sold it on the pullback right here at 09, okay, and it came all the way back down. We covered our first position here, and then what we did is we just said, and this is what I do. You guys do whatever you want, but this is where we're. You made you made a, a, almost a thousand dollars on that, and all it's done so far is to come back to the 382 again, and that's probably this little a b being a, a holiday day today or pre-holiday day. We're probably not going to get much above this level here. I wouldn't believe, you know, over time. But this is a major top up in here, folks. I believe now if it if it fails here, and it's possible. We could get to this level here, 117.05. And the reason why is you've got that. Uh, hold on just one second here to get this up here. Right here. You get to 117.10. There's two, two, two major patterns right there. Remember, that's only a little point and a half. So some type of news from the Federal Reserve could easily get you up there at 117.11, 117.10. But on this particular trade, you know, you made your you made your money on this. Your stop on this would be one one sixteen oh two. That would lock in. We've already bought book seven fifty. That would lock in over twelve hundred for the day on, on just using the smaller swings. But this is really important, folks. This one right here. Uh, I'll be. Oh, by the way, my videos are tapioca. I uh, something's happened. Dropbox has started something new. And they haven't included me. I paid the bill, but there's so many little things that they want me to do that I'm not capable of doing. I got to get my Dropbox guy to get it fixed. So there probably will not going to be any videos. I'll send it out in text form, but there won't be any videos until I can get the uh, get the doggone thing fixed. And that's the uh, that's not an easy task for me. Uh, well, it's it's borders on impossibility. So let's move over here. Uh, to the next. All I know, folks, with 100%, we're going to see some swing. Like we're seeing already, we're going to see some great swings. And if you follow these patterns and numbers, that's pretty good. But let's just look at this on an eight minute. Eight minutes really good for day trading. You can see you get really nice patterns in here on bonds. This was Mark Douglas's favorite, and uh, that's what that's what we're watching is when we're you know watching these things. But you get some. These are all tradable. See. You, you got to be able to make at least $300 on a swing, folks. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth your time because, you know, you're going to drive yourself nuts looking at all these different time frames and stuff. So stick with something that you're comfortable with. Eight minutes is as small as I go to. Now, I go to a smaller time frame here to show you a smaller pattern, but 
eight minutes, I mean, my goodness, I don't even like looking at the market more than every half hour. So I, I hope that makes some sense. You know, I that's all the sense I can make out of it. So let's hope to what we're watching here. Wow, we got another half hour to go. And then I've got those uh, stocks that people wanted me to take a look at. One of uh, oh, did we did the crude oil? Okay, we already did crude. Oh, crude is really interesting today, folks. I missed a beauty here. I'm going to go down to the uh, eight minute here and just show you this really nice. You you re I, Johnny would really like this one here. I want you to see something, folks. You see that little spot right there? I want you to keep your eye on that little spot. The market rallies a dollar a barrel, dollar ten a barrel. Watch where it stopped. There's your high. There's your low, and I got the wrong, misses it by how much? Misses it by 10 pips, and then boom, down we go, and now we're rallying back up some more. Anyway, we're going to take a little break. 877-927-6648, Billy Ray, Valentine, Capricorn. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look at the gold. This is a four hour chart. All I wanted to do is to walk through, you know, the A, B, C, D patterns. And of course, we've got a big one right here. There's your A leg right here. Uh, uh did that wrong, Bubba. Hold on just a second here. This is lower than that one, so you really need to put the tick where it should be. There's your A, B. 
leg right here. There's your CD leg measuring up to uh, 05. Baha'i was uh, 09. And then today, you see there's yesterday. Oh, by the way, today is uh, President uh, Kennedy's uh, unfortunate anniversary. Everybody see a little bit of white light for uh, the old, uh, I think it was the 40th president of the United States. Oh, it's so far back I can't remember. Anyway, I uh, hate to see something like that. Anyway, there's uh, what we're looking at. So what I'm going to do now, this is a four-hour. I'm just going to go down. To, I'll show you what I was thinking. I didn't get filled, but I was thinking this. Okay, here was the high that we made right here, and there's the high that we made right there. Okay, now something was happening that would affect the gold market up into here. So I was looking for a place to try to get short to gold, okay? So what I was watching here is just watch these three higher high, three lower highs in here. It wasn't symmetrical enough to do this, and on the pullback, I didn't want to sell the 382, which was here at 02, and put my stop above here. I didn't want to risk that. Well, you can see what happened, what, I, what would have happened. This is the one I should have caught without any trouble at all, without even thinking. But then it was late for me because I had been up all night, and I had done six trades, and I was happy with what we had. But you can see this one comes within exact half a dollar. Okay, now the reason why I was watching this, and this is what I usually try to cover in the uh, uh, the videos, which I couldn't put out last night because it's uh, kaput. There is the euro right here. Here's the euro. Okay, remember, this was a big number up here. Okay, now we haven't, this was yesterday. Okay, so we, we were doing the British pound. We can't do both because you don't want to be double exposed to uh, being uh, short the dollar because if you're short this, you're basically long the dollar, right? So if you're long the dollar, that means that gold and silver are not going to be in well, uh, well taken because there's usually a contrary in opinion because if you're long the dollar, gold and silver usually go down. Not all the time. But you might do that. So all I was doing was watching the euro today. So all I had to do, you can see the market had a big move down, and I was watching for 382s all through the night. And that's what I was trying to do. There is your first ABCD right here. And this missed me by just a heartbeat. We went a little bit lower. And then we went to this one right here. And you got it to right this one. This is the one I wanted. There's the one. Finally kicked in right here. There's your 382. It's also a little ABCD right there. And then the market had a nice break. We broke about 60 handles, which are 60 points, which is a pretty good move. Now, what I'm watching now is I want to watch, this, watch to see what the real 382 is of the whole thing, which is going back to there. And you see that comes in here maybe today. If we get up here today, I'm going to uh, reshort it. And I will take a look at it from the short side from that point here with that. So I hope that's just my thinking because I look at these things because I'm watching them unfold. They're all there. They're, again, this is an eight-minute chart. It's certainly, you know, you can't be in this for, for this distance. This is nothing. But you can certainly look at this. This goes from, uh, this is uh, 25 pips. That's $250. That's tradable. And then you come down and you can see here, now, there, there's no a, there's there's a little a b c d here but it's so so small it's not even tradable i don't even think it's a 382 let's just double check no it misses it by a pip or two but anyway that's what i'd be this is the one that i'm paying attention to folks this one right here 10894 that's about 12 pips from where we are right now here in the uh, in the euro okay so that's uh, one that we're paying attention to Right there. Now let's get over to a couple things that people have been asking me about. And NVIDIA has popped up today more than once or twice. Let's get this up here. And uh, NVD, uh, there's so much going on with some of these stocks. NVIDIA starts with an N, doesn't it, boys and girls? There it is right there. And we're going to bring this up and see how it's been handling the, uh, the news. I guess it's been uh, okay. I don't know where. It, well, you can see there's where we were the last few days. Uh, the old high was 520, so we didn't take that high out. But this is uh, this was today, yesterday's action, and here's today's action. This is the 22nd. I guess this is when the news came out on their earnings, and then of course the market broke down. I don't even know if this is a good tick or not. I I doubt it, but it could be. 
given this crazy little rascal. But if you wanted to take a look at the short side of NVIDIA, and if you put a stop in, anybody can do that. But you're setting uh, eh, just a little above the 382 right now on a holiday uh, atmosphere coming in. I wouldn't touch it. But that was NVIDIA. The, the uh, News was really fabulous and everything, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Now, the other one that someone asked me about, and I had to ask John Jamelson about it, was about Sam Altman and uh, his AI stuff that I know nothing about except that it's related to Softy. And I want to get Softy up here, Microsoft, to see where we are. John thinks Microsoft, John Jamelson thinks Microsoft will be the first three trillion, uh, four trillion dollar company. Uh, Apple's the first one, but he believes that this will be a, get this is from a long time ago. Okay, here is uh, evidently the, the guy that was going to be Sam Altman was going to go to Microsoft, but evidently he decided not to. And you can see it hasn't affected Microsoft stock at all. You know, it's still going up. I mean, look where we are. We're still making new highs. This is a if you want to if you want a, a tradable high, if you want to have a little bit of fun with something, this is a this is a really nice. Uh, this is a 15 minute chart, uh, which is goes over the last uh, eight or nine days. But you're going to have a really nice three drive pattern here. This is clear as a bell. There's drive one. There's drive two. Let's just draw them in. There's drive one right here. Okay, there's drive two right up there. And drive three is going to be right there to 1.618 most probably that's at 82 so um, you know it looks like that's where it's going to go there it is right there 82 put a stop at 83 and a half so you can eight let's call it 84 so you're going to risk two points on a stock that's trading at 380 bucks uh that's less than one one percent uh, <laughs> by a long shot so that's where i think it's going to go uh, well, we'll keep this on the watch list here to see if we get here. We'll put the limit minder up, and then we'll find out whether we're going to be uh, really close to uh, putting this out here a little bit. Now, someone's had a question about the soybeans, but I believe we've got to uh, – well, we've got 54 seconds. Let's get the old January soybeans up here, and we'll get ready to talk about them when the, uh, the lady begins to sing soprano there with that uh, beautiful uh, Steinwell uh, – what do they call those things? Pianos. Yeah, hold on one second. Steinway, not Steinwell. Hold on here. Where are you? Oh, we got to do one other one. Oh, shut the front door. Before we do that, we have to do Sarah's favorite, Alibaba. One second. We'll be back with Alibaba and Jack Ma. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of Alibaba, which is uh, Jack Ma's company. Uh, he said today on the air he didn't want to sell any of his shares because they were too cheap. Well, from 78, from 320, they are definitely too cheap. I just wanted to show you all the 382 retracements that were on here. And then I also want to tell you a story. You see this pattern right here, folks? Let's move it over here so we can get it. You see this little three drive to a top pattern right there? I want to tell you a story because this happened to change my life just a little bit. There was this pattern right here, and I was on an airplane going from uh, Hong Kong to Narita, Japan, Narita, Japan, back to Los Angeles and home. I was doing my last trip to China. I'd been going for 10 years, and I had been uh, giving lectures about coming commodity markets that were going to be coming to China, what they meant, how people made money, how people lost money, and all stuff like that. And so... Uh, I was on a plane, and there was a young lady in front of me, and uh, she was having a hard time getting her bag, you know, the old trick. Oh, sir, could you please help me take this uh, bag out of here? I'm just a poor Chinese girl. I can't reach it. Anyway, she was having a difficulty, and I, I could see she had tears in her eyes, and I asked her, I said, are you okay? And she said, yes. She said, my mom is, uh, is uh, getting ready to pass on, and I have to go to Toronto to see her, and uh, – uh, I said, would you like to go to the lounge? And uh, and she said, sure, she said. So she went to the lounge, and we were there for about three and a half hours, and I showed her what I did. I really liked her, and so I was making a typical Italian play. I was taking out all the stops, and she was interested in her, the stock that she had, which was uh, uh, AIA Insurance. She was an agent for them and one of the better ones, and uh, this was the pattern that we were seeing on the weekly chart. It was three drive to a top pattern, even clearer than this one. The stock was 76 and a quarter. And I said, no matter what you do, I said, you really should sell this. And, of course, she saw my website and the fact that I'd written a book or something or whatever it was. And she said, okay. She said, the worst that can happen is I had to buy it back at a higher price. I said, that's correct. I said, but you're not going to have to worry about that. So by the time she got to Toronto, I had about seven or eight emails waiting on her. And her sister said, you are being stalked. And so I get a phone call from Toronto here in Tucson the next day, and she says, I'm the girl you met on the airplane you've been sending all these emails to. And I said, yes. She says, I have to know, are you stalking me? And I said, absolutely, 100 percent, not even any doubt about it. <laughs> and she says, I can't believe you just said that. I said, do you want me to lie to you? And she said, no. I said, well, watch and see what happens to AIA. Well, AIA went, AIA went from 76 to 33 cents, folks. And somewhere in between, we got married. 
Uh, it was about a year later. But uh, that's how I met Sarah. I was on Northwest Airlines. And uh, anyway, the family is out traveling, and they are at major airports. I'm not going to tell you. Well, one of them was LAX. But th they said it was like a ghost town compared to how it should be given all the stuff that's going on with, uh, you know, traveling everywhere for the holidays. This is the busiest holiday weekend for traveling that there is uh, today. So uh, I don't know. The other one was uh, Dallas was really, it was a ghost town. They said there was just no shops. The shops were open, but nobody was in them, and there was nobody going to the airport. The planes were filled, but there were nobody in the airports. I don't know how that works. Anyway, let's move on here to a couple other stocks that some folks have asked me about here. F... Uh, Euro, the, uh, this one here is the emerging markets. I have never traded these things, but you can see here it's had a really good rally here uh, over the past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, didn't have There was the uh, eclipse right here. It's also had a big rally. We're right up to the 61% retracement right in this area right here, so this should be some uh, resistance. We're, we're actually trading almost exactly at the 61% retracement in here. Uh, you can see here as we go up here, you can see the the ABCD patterns all the way. I mean, they're they they're everywhere. That's what this stuff is all about. That's why I like ABCDs. Uh, they don't work all the time. But my God, nothing does. That does it? I don't know. Okay, let's move on to another. Qu the stock was not um, not Goldman Sachs. What's that stock with the doc? Got it, doc. Got it. I, I, IBM. Just a minute. Where's IBM? Are you kidding me? I don't have IBM in here. God, boy, that's a bad sign. Uh, just give me a second, folks. I, IBM, IBM. The only job offer in college that I didn't get was the IBM. And the guy, the guy said, do anything except go into computers is what they told me. Here's IBM on the daily. It's uh, breaking into new high ground uh, from quite a while, from several years ago. So there's nothing holding this one back right now. Let's see where we are. This is in the Dow Jones, so that's one of the reasons why the Dow is so strong. Uh, well, this has been extremely strong. Just looking at this, uh, on blow it up here. There, there, look at this, folks. Since the eclipse here, look at this huge gap that we had that day. At 38, that's a $5 gap, and now we're up to this level right here. The only day we had was this pullback day right here on the 9th, and my gosh, that was nothing. I don't even think that was a... A 382, was it? Nope, didn't even make a 382. So there's no reason to sell this one. You know, it's, uh, it's just like Microsoft. It just keeps going higher and higher. So those are the ones that I'm watching. And I had one other one today in the agricultural section, and that is Caterpillar. I know I have Cat in here. I Well, I don't know it for sure, but I used to think I did. Where is Caterpillar? Starts with C-A-T, and boy, I don't see it here either. No one's asked me about Caterpillar in a very long time, so let's see what Caterpillar is doing. I know the grains are haven't been doing too well lately. With and look at oh look at Caterpillar. This is a this is not a very good one here, folks. Uh, this is on a down move. Not oh dear, we just had a uh, we just had a major ABCD at a 382. It looks like pretty much spot on right there. Four three, that's just about spot on to exact uh, 382. If we measure from the high down to your low, we got time for one other, so bear with me here. Actually, it misses the 50%. It's halfway between the two, so it's within a bucket, you know, within a dollar of that level. Now we backed off a little bit, so not too much doing there. And then the other one we had was uh, Goldman Sachs, the Simon Templar of Wall Street. Hold on, not Simon Templar, Knights Templar. Simon Templar. Okay, there's Goldman Sachs right here. Now, this has been doing pretty good. It's almost a new high ground, too. Boy, all this stuff really took off here. Didn't on that eclipse day, shut the front door. You know, folks, the good part about this, every time I look at this, is all I can think about is that wonderful chart that Shane Smolian built for us on the uh, combined look of these things here because uh, the upside-down version of this is coming out there so we got about a month to go the key part is right here this distance between right about here and right about there is going to be real key you got to pay close attention to that but the big one is out there in the middle sometime between elvis's birthday on the 8th of uh, january 
And the day I lost my mother, which was January the 28th, between those 20 days, we're going to see something really exciting uh, in the market uh, for stocks. And that means all stocks, except probably the Russell. Let's take a look how the Russell's doing today, because that's been the one that is the weak sister of the group. Let's get it up here. RT. R is QRS. There's Russell. One second. We'll look at the Russell when we come back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, this is the Russell uh, 2000. We're just going to draw in the uh, ABCD pattern. There's your eclipse right here on the 27th of October. Lunar eclipse. There's your ABCD swing measures to uh, uh, 1824. The high was uh, 1838. Uh, then we had a little bit of a pullback here. Made a nice little ABCD. Remember, folks, this backed off to the 61% retracement here. Okay, the S&P uh, it might have had a downtick one of those days. I mean, it just was straight up, as you already know. This made a perfect ABCD, and then we did have a little bit of a pullback here, back here just uh, six or seven days ago. There was a, a very small, probably a tradable one. There's your 
there's your. Uh, this is just about. Uh, well, it's only about. It's hourly, so it took about eight hours to make that. Probably was exactly a 382. Let's just double check. And pretty close, almost exact. That makes this an AB equals CD move. So we measure that. There's your AB. That's the problem when I'm doing these live, folks. This thing is so sensitive that it doesn't do it. So I'm going to do it like you should do it yourself. Let's draw them in. There's your AB leg. You clone that. There's your CD leg right there. And then what you want to do is to measure to see what that was, a 382. And it went right below the 38, halfway between 382. And then you had another one here. This is still bearish, folks. I mean, this has still got a downtrend. So, you know, look where we are. We got the Dow's off to the races. NASDAQ is, is up there with SpaceX, as is the S&P. But this one's lagging. So the rules say, from Bernard Baruch, my own story, sell the weakest, buy the strongest. Have a wonderful holiday, folks. Try to feed somebody that needs help. And uh, if it's me, send me some checks. That's a joke. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless. We'll see you all Monday morning, God willing, and she usually is. So thanks for joining us. Thank you.